Welcome back to Construct 3, everyone. In the last video, we took a look at how you can destroy a sprite character if you wish. Um, they might get destroyed if they fall from a platform or get shot with a bullet or maybe touch an enemy sprite. So we showed how to do that by basically saying that if this sprite, our main character, comes in contact with the bottom here, we put in a sprite and... If I click on that sprite here, you can't see it right now. That's because I've changed the opacity to zero. If I put this to 100 and hit enter, you can see it does show up down here. I don't want it to show up during gameplay. I want it to be transparent. So one way I can do that, I can put the opacity down to 0%. And then it will be transparent when the game plays. Now, right now, if we do go in and preview the game... Just to see what it looks like when our character does fall from the platform yes it does disappear but we want it to look better than that so let's put in an effect where we can do something a little more impressive so here's what we're going to do um, we're going to go get an explosion png you can get any explosion png from the internet some are better than others. I'm going to pick one that's not perfect, and I'll show you why. Um, but basically, you can just do a Google search for Explosion Sprite PNG. And when you are downloading it from the internet, just confirm that it is a PNG. Sometimes it says it is, but you're not sure until you actually try it. How do you know the difference? Well, a real PNG has a transparent background. We want the PNG to have a transparent background so that we don't see the edges, if you will. So make sure it is a true PNG when you download the image and put it into your game. Like I said, you're going to notice it when you do put it in. So how do we do it? Well, I'm going to go up here off the top of the layout here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to insert new object. And we're going to go put in a sprite. So I've already went and found an explosion PNG. So I'm going to click on sprite. And we'll go insert. And I'm just going to click up here. Because actually I want it actually off the main layout area. And I'll show you why in a minute. Then we're going to go find it. So we're going to go here. We're going to load an image from a file. So I'm going to click here. You might have your saved in Google Drive. You have to know where it is. Here is mine right here, explosion.png. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to put it in. And I'm going to crop it. And there we have it. So that is the explosion um, PNG. So I'm just going to rename it here, like so, and hit enter. And then I'm going to close this, and I'm going to save. So it has saved. I have seen that. Now, um, you can see the size right here. It's a little bit small. I want to make it at least uh, bigger than my character. So I'm just going to resize it here. And about there, that's uh, a little bit bigger than my character. That looks good. So there, I've got that inserted, and I can see that it is over here. It just says Sprite, so I'm just going to rename this. I do want that as Explosion. Let's always rename our sprites to make sense. So there's the Explosion right there under Object Types. And I'm going to do something here. Um, just so you can see what happens. I'm going to go into the event sheet. And basically my last line of code here is that when the main character strikes the bottom, in other words, it's fallen off all the platforms, it's going to fall to the bottom and the character's going to die. Um, you might want to do different things with that and that's okay. Um, maybe you want it to, to respawn somewhere and uh, you can add... Uh, more characters. Uh, I'm going to leave it up to you, but let's say if we want to destroy it. So right now, the main character is being destroyed. It does just disappear. But like I said, we're going to make something a little more impressive. We're going to go here, and we're going to add an action. So when it does hit the bottom, the main character is going to be destroyed, but I'm going to do something else. 
I'm going to click on main character. I'm going to go next. And what that main character is going to do, I'm going to go to miscellaneous. It's going to spawn another object. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go next. And then I'm going to go find the explosion. I'm going to click on explosion. Click on OK. And layer one, I believe, is our platform level. So I'm just going to put that. And I am going to click done. So there, I can see it here. So when the main character strikes the bottom, it will be destroyed. Plus, it's going to spawn an explosion. So let's go see what it looks like right now. So if we preview here, and if we go off the edge of the platform, and we fall, it does spawn the explosion, but um, it doesn't disappear, which doesn't really look very good either. So we're going to go in and fix that. And Construct 3 has some tools to help us fix that. We're going to go back to Layout. We're going to click on that explosion. And I'm going to right click. And I'm going to... Actually, it's clicked here. I'm just going to go here and add a behavior. So click on Behaviors right here. Add New Behavior. And I'm going to put in Fade. And I'm going to go add, because what I can do is I can get it to fade in and fade out. It's going to make it look a lot more realistic. So I'm going to go add. And there, we've added it here. And now when I go down here, I actually see that it's added the fade portion. I can actually put in a fade in time. Let's do a fade in time of, say, 0.5 seconds. And then I'm going to hold it for, say, 0.5 seconds. And then how about a fade out time? We'll keep it at one second. Um, so it's going to take time to fade in. Then it's going to hold. And then it's going to fade out. And it will be destroyed. We'll keep that clicked like that. Let's just go and save that. Make sure it saves properly. And then let's go take a look and see what this looks like. So click on preview. And let's have our character fall off the platform here and see what happens. So there, it does fade in, it does fade out. You might want to play with those settings a little bit to make it a little bit more realistic. You can make it even bigger if you wanted. So we could do that. If you notice this PNG, it's not made perfectly. Whoever did this before, you can see that they've kind of cropped out this top edge here. And we've lost some of the effect of uh, the explosion up right here. Looks good over here. Looks good here. Down here is okay. But you can see here that maybe you want to grab a different PNG other than this one. But it looks not too bad. If we just run it again here and just see what it looks like now that it's a little bit bigger. If our character does fall off the platform, then there, we get that effect like that. So there, that's how you can add an effect like an explosion. Notice that when you place it, you place it initially off the main layout here because we only want it to appear at certain times. So anything that you want only to appear at certain times, we're going to put it up here um, and then it will be brought into the game as we need it. So. That's it for this video. You can try the same thing. If you want to do some other modifications, that's totally fine. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.